Welcome to Piping Up, presented by the Tabernacle Choir at Temple Square. I'm your host, Luke Howard. These organ concerts are streamed live every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at noon Mountain Time. Previous episodes of Piping Up are also available for on-demand viewing on the Tabernacle Choir's Facebook page and YouTube channel. And you can find out more information about this concert series, including downloadable program listings for this week's episodes at tabchoir.org slash piping up. Today, our organist is Joseph Peoples. His program opens with John Rutter's organ prelude on God Rest You Merry, Gentlemen, a timely reminder that the tidings of comfort and joy continue to resound even after Christmas has passed. John Rutter published this chorale prelude in 1977, fairly early in his career, while he was director of music at Clare College, Cambridge. And it's one of Rutter's very few works not written originally for a choir. Johannes Pachelbel composed two organ settings of the chorale Vom Himmel hoch, da komm ich her. The setting Joseph will play next is the more elaborate of the two, starting with a fugal treatment of the chorale theme and then a magnificently embellished statement of the melody in the pedals. It's numbered in the Pachelbel catalogue as P478. The original chorale text of Vom Himmel hoch was by Martin Luther and the tune was most likely by Luther as well. Following that work, we'll hear an arrangement of Venite Adoremus, or The Snow Lay on the Ground, a carol first published in the 19th century and thought to be set to a tune originally sung by mountain shepherds in Italy. This arrangement for organ is by a frequent guest organist on Temple Square, James Kaysen.
J.S. Bach arranged his Orgelbuchlein by liturgical season. Following Advent and Christmas, he included a small handful of organ chorale preludes, especially for the new year. Celebrations of a new year are often bittersweet, simultaneously a farewell and a welcome. And this is why the month of January was named after the Roman god Janus, the god of transitions, doorways, beginnings and endings. Janus is represented with two faces, one looking back and the other looking forward. You get a sense of these mixed emotions in Bach's New Year chorales from the Orgelbuchlein. The two that are most frequently paired together are Das alte Jahr vergangen ist, a melancholy reflection on the past year, followed by In dir ist Freude, a joyful celebration of new opportunities. On its own, Das alte Jahr seems unusually despondent, the heightened chromaticism is the kind of effect Bach used in other works to express pain or grief, not really the feeling we typically associate with New Year celebrations. But it makes more sense when understood in connection with the chorale text. From Catherine Winkworth's translation of 1863, here are some of the verses of that hymn still so pertinent to us today. The old year now has passed away. We thank you, O oh our God, today that you have kept us through the year when danger and distress were near. Take not your saving word away which lights and cheers our souls each day. Abide with us and keep us free from error and hypocrisy. O oh, help us to forsake all sin, a new and holier life begin. Forgive the old year's sins and bless the new year with true happiness. Bach naturally represents this turn from melancholy to hope in the music itself. The chromatic modal harmonies wander anxiously between D minor and A minor. But then the chorale closes with an E major chord, a movement away from the modality of the piece, a suggestion of a new beginning that seeks to put the past behind it and grasp on to new hope. We all know how that feels.
Continuing the tradition at these noon organ concerts, Joseph now plays his own arrangements of the Latter-day Saint pioneer hymn, Come, Come Ye Saints, and the hymn tune, Cranham. Like the Bach prelude we just heard, Come, Come Ye Saints speaks of enduring trials with grace and having faith in a better future. Cranham is better known as the tune for the hymn, In the Bleak Midwinter, a beautiful poem by Christina Rossetti that also reminds us God reveals himself in our darkest, bleakest hours and offers real hope.
the Italian composer Giovanni Gabrielli worked as organist at the Basilica San Marco in Venice in the late 16th and early 17th centuries. And the interior architecture in San Marco allowed Gabrielli to split the choir or instrumental ensemble and put half on each side of the altar. The echo and multi-directional effects and contrasts between the two groups that this practice facilitated was one of the defining features of the emerging Baroque style in music. We'll hear those effects transcribed for the organ now as Joseph Peoples plays his own transcription of Gabrielli's Canzon Septimitoni No. 2, with Gabrielli's divided brass ensemble represented by the two reed choruses on the organ. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Piping Up with organist Joseph Peoples. Thank you for watching. You're always welcome to return for the live stream of these concerts every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, and previous episodes of Piping Up are also available for on-demand viewing. Piping Up, organ concerts at Temple Square, streams on the Tabernacle Choir's website, Facebook page and YouTube channel, and at broadcasts.churchofjesuschrist.org.